If you heat your home or business with natural gas, a warning from BC's main supplier, David Zura explains. Prepare yourself. A natural gas shortage is expected to linger through the winter after that pipeline explosion earlier this month. And Fortis BC is asking customers in the province to reduce their usage. On October 9th, the pipeline ruptured near Prince George, causing a massive explosion and an immediate disruption to service right across BC. Now, Enbridge, the energy transportation company, says the pipeline does have a smaller twin and repairs to the larger pipe are underway and expected to be done by mid November. But both lines will only be running at 50 to 80 percent capacity. We're actively working to access more gas. We're bringing gas from Alberta across our southern crossing pipeline to supplement the volumes in northeast BC. But that extra gas simply won't be enough to compensate for the shortfall and Fortis BC is asking customers to continue cooling it on their usage. In particular, Fortis is asking homeowners and businesses to keep thermostats set below 20 degrees Celsius and to avoid using hot water whenever possible. What about, say, turning down the thermostat? Is that something you would do, put on a No. Spider? No. <laughs> no, <laughs> absolutely no. I would be freezing. No. Uh, I am willing to wear a sweater. However, the heat is nice. I already do that. Uh, I, I don't think I would. <laughs> absolutely. The cause of the blast is still unknown and remains under investigation. In Vancouver, David Zura, City News. Ken Sim has officially accepted the results of Vancouver's mayoral race. He congratulated Kennedy Stewart on his campaign and his victory as Vancouver's next mayor. In a statement, Sim says, I wish Kennedy Stewart and everyone on council, park board and school board only the best over the next four years. I will always be there for you if I can help.